Alright, it seems a good chunk of the cast for season 2 of Netflix's Witcher show has been revealed, and so we're gonna talk about it briefly. Did your mother fuck a snowman? We have the actors for characters such as Eskel, Lambert, Cohen, Vesemir, Lydia, Francesca, Nivellen, and Verena. And I gotta say, my initial reaction to all of them is definitely more positive than what we had for season 1. I remember back when they revealed Ciri, Yen, Triss and Fringilla, I was not exactly thrilled with their choices. Here, however, I think they've improved a lot. Also, people have been saying that Hollywood doesn't like gingers, however, this time we've got two of them coming in, and neither of them necessarily had to be such. My ginger muffin, with me you shall enjoy an evening to top all others. But anyway, let me give you my brief thoughts on each one of the casting choices, and contrary to my usual videos, this one will not contain any massive spoilers. Also, I will not dwell too much on how the actors compare to the characters they play, since I want to see them in action first, and then I'll make a proper comparison video. But with that said, let's start with Nivellen and Verena. Kudos to Netflix for bringing back this particular short story to the show. I've complained in a few videos that they shouldn't have removed it, and even though it's a little late for it now, it's still better than never. Right, so Nivellen? I don't think they give too much of a description about his hair colors and eye colors and that sort of thing, but if I had to picture something, this would be close to what I imagine. Apparently the actor was in Game of Thrones previously, I stopped watching that show after season 2 or 3 or something, I gotta say I don't remember him, perhaps you guys will let me know whether he acted well there, but assuming that he did, I think he'll do wonderfully here. Next up is Verena. If memory serves me, she had black hair, which she does in one of those photos, and they can easily paint it if that's not the case, and um, she also has a bit of a ragged look in this picture, which I think suits the character very much. So yeah, it, it can work, I'm excited. This one is among my favorite parts of the Witcher books, and I can't wait to see it. I only hope they don't mess it up. Dryads. Also, a fun fact you may have missed here is that the Warble of the Smitten Knight quest in The Witcher 3, especially some of the dialogue in the case where you transfer the curse, has a small reference to Nivellen and Verena's story. Okay, moving on to Lydia. She looks great. She looks beautiful, and I like that. It makes sense given her predicament, and I wonder what they're going to do with her character. I was never too keen on adding more backstory for Yennefer, for example, but Lydia is someone whose backstory I'm somewhat interested in seeing. And since the show has proven that it doesn't shy away from more gruesome stuff, I suppose they may show it. Also, they had Vilgefort in Season 1, so perhaps they'll keep his story going along with Lydia's. Okay, moving on to Francesca. She had a darker shade of blonde hair, if I'm not mistaken, so perhaps some hairstyling would be necessary. And also, she was, allegedly, the most beautiful woman in the world. And I'm a little concerned here. And it's not that the actress looks bad, but mostly because if season 1 has shown us anything, it is that it's capable of making people look worse. Um, Coral, Triss, Fringilla are all good examples of that, I think. And keep in mind that all of these, Francesca included, are sorceresses. So if anything, they should be getting the exact opposite treatment on Netflix, because, as most of you know, they're supposed to possess magically enhanced beauty. On top of that, Francesca is also an elf, and I've already stated a few times that I'm not a big fan of how elves look in the show either, so I'm a little worried, but we'll have to wait and see. <sighs> and finally, we have our four witchers. They're all generally good, but let's go over them quickly. First off, Cohen. The one thing he's missing is a beard. In the books, he grew it to conceal the scars he had from uh, chickenpox, smallpox, however the disease was called in English. You know what I mean. Let him grow some beard. Have him talk to Nivellen, perhaps, and uh, he'll be just fine. Next up, we have Lambert. What a prick. I can't actually remember any description of him, other than the fact that he was kind of ugly. 
which by the way pours salt in the wound when Yennefer says this to Geralt. You're still one of the prettiest witches around in my book, second only to Lambert. Anyway, the actor here had some rough features, so perhaps he'll do well. Fucking hell. Relax, Lambert. Then we have Eskel. What I recall for him is that he actually resembled Geralt in the books. You know, minus the white hair. However, the resemblance was a little difficult to tell because of the fact that Eskel's face was heavily scarred. So once again, I'll have to wait and see how they actually portray him in the show, but given how Geralt looks, I'd say they picked a decent Eskel. And once again about the Witchers, off the top of my head I don't recall any descriptions of their hair colors, so if any of you does, please leave a comment about it. I guess it's possible that a uh, red-haired Lambert and a blonde Eskel isn't quite book accurate, but I honestly don't remember. And finally, we have Vesemir. Well, he's not Mark Hamill, but I don't think I have anything negative to say about this man. He actually looks quite good on some of the pictures I've seen of him, and as far as appearance goes, I think he can definitely pull the role. So yeah, there we have it. Despite the fact that it's fun to point out bad casting choices and mistakes in the show, of which there are certainly a good amount, I also can't help but being honest here and admit that I'm somewhat pleasantly surprised by the characters of season 2. And now I'm looking forward to it more than I initially was, especially with the addition of Nivellen. So that was all I had for you today. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to give it a like and also tell me what you thought of the new actors and everything I said about them. Thank you very much for watching. Special thanks to the people who chose to support me by becoming members of my YouTube channel or through Patreon. And until the next video, stay tuned and be good. My granda told it right. Not a bloke out there doesn't want to get between a dwarf wench's trotters. <laughs>